Hey, good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 14th, 2018. So yesterday I mentioned the possibility of a silver lining, and that certainly didn't appear yesterday. But also, I want to caution everyone, because if you were to listen to or, or watch much of the news reports, about the market one would think that the sky is falling here but let's continue to take a look at the price action of the chart without a bias and see what the chart is telling us well if we look here at the diamonds you can see we have a fairly significant level of, of um, support or resistance that lays right across that area right there and as you can see so far all we've done is we've breached that but we're holding on here pretty darn well. And there's really nothing in here that would suggest that we have a possibility of just sinking to all-time new lows yet. In fact, what we have is we have a chart that's showing us the possibility that even though there could be more pullback, the important thing to focus on is that we're holding above the October lows. And as long as we continue to hold above those October lows, we have the possibility of a bounce. Now, I talked about this uh, several times that um, it's it's extremely rare to see a V bottom in the market. A true V bottom where we move all the way down to a low and then come all the way back up to the highs. That's and that's pretty um that that's extremely abnormal. Um after after about two thousand points or a little over two thousand points of rally in just nine trading days, and in fact wouldn't it be odd to believe that there wouldn't have been at least some kind of a rest or a pullback occur in the market. This is normal price action where the stock market comes back to test price support levels. So at least at this point, this is pretty darn normal and really should have been more expected. And if you're getting yourself so caught up in, you know, the gloom and doom that keeps rolling out in the news, um, could this turn out to be a lower high and the market sink to an all uh, a brand new low and continue this trend down? Absolutely yes. And I'm not suggesting you should blindly jump into this market in any way, shape, or form to trade it long. But we also need to temper our emotions and say, wait a minute. So far, there's nothing bad here. In fact, there's still the opportunity of that bullish inverted head and shoulders forming here on the diamonds. So watch, wait, and pay attention to the price action of the chart. It will always do better than if you follow your emotion or follow around news reports that can do nothing but confuse you. Remember, price is king, and if we've learned to follow price, we will do better in our trading. Let's take a look at um, the SPY here real quick. SP, whoop, SPY also holding up okay and this is a almost a perfectly formed inverted head and shoulders at the moment with an inverted hammer here yesterday. Now an inverted hammer at a price bottom and I'm not saying that this is a price bottom, but an inverted hammer at a price bottom can be a bullish clue. What we would need to see for that to be a, 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 an inverted hammer is see upside follow through today, you know, kind of confirming that as an inverted um, uh, hammer and holding a price support level right down in this area. And as long as this holds, as long as this holds down here, we're in pretty good shape. We don't want to see it just continue to bleed away and continue to sink away here. But holding it above this um, October low, holding these support levels, is certainly not a sign that the sky is falling, at least at the moment. Hey, by the way, everyone, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I do appreciate that very, very much. And also, 
please you know share with me what what are your thoughts on the market you know just leave a quick comment what are your thoughts or is this all gloom and doom or do you think there's an opportunity for a rally in toward Christmas um, uh, just leave that as a comment. Also, stick around. I've got just a couple of chart ideas, and I apologize yesterday. I forgot to uh, uh, bring those chart ideas up. And, then, and these are ideas, uh, not necessarily actionable trade ideas, but something to keep an eye on. So let's take a look at the cues here really, really quick. The, the cues are, are really the worst situation of the market right now. Having pulled back much deeper, but once again, we're holding at some price support levels, we're holding above our downtrend line, and we're holding above that October low. So unless we continue to sink on down through here and make new lows, we still have that opportunity of catching this bounce. That inverted head and shoulders doesn't look nearly as structured here on the NASDAQ, but there's that inverted hammer pattern. If we were to get buyers to step in here at this um, level right here we could certainly see that inverted hammer possibly come into play but you know not trying to predict that let's just watch the support level and see if buyers step in you know one of the things that's always been kind of um, hard for me well it was really hard for me to learn is that retail traders are not going to decide when this sell-off is over it will be the institutions and if we as we retail traders realize that we can take advantage of of uh, of that information because uh, institutional traders when they decide to put that bottom in and start buying up the market we as retail traders get to take advantage of that because we're much faster than them it takes them a while they can't just move in and out as quickly and as easy as we can because they trade in such large volumes if we can just wait for them rather than fight this pullback will do much better so kind of keep that in mind let's take a look at IWM IWM now this is <laughs> I saw all kinds of news reports on this and this is true that that oh, yesterday um, the 50 crossing down through the 200 is called the death cross and could this be a very bearish or ominous sign for the market? Yes, it's possible that it could. But we've also seen a lot of these kind of markets pull back and bounce right off of that. In fact, do a quick study of the uh, sell-off at the first of the year, and you'll see a very similar type situation where we pulled, we didn't cross over, but we came down um, pretty sharply and then reversed back up. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, is it bearish? Yes, it's bearish. Is uh, Does it mean that the sky is falling? It does not, at least at this point, because price action is not indicating that. So IWM here again, inverted head and shoulders pattern, um, setting above price support levels and still holding above those October lows. So as long as we can stay there, we're in pretty good shape. Let's take a look at the VIX. the VIX. You would think with uh, the volatility yesterday, the VIX would have had a little bit more of price action in it, but the VIX is not really um, spiking up in major fear. That can be a good positive clue for us as if that does not occur. As a matter of fact, what this could end up being is a little bit of a downtrend here uh, beginning to form and the possibility of a lower high in fear so if that pulls back a little bit more and that's what we want to see we want to see that pull back we want to see some of this volatility drop out of the market but um, of course it's very very important that we keep an eye on the VIX if that fear starts creeping back in if the market starts selling off this could easily spike and um, that would be an uncomfortable day for you know in the market but nothing bad here yet just certainly a reason for concern Let's take a look at T21, 22. 
T2122, that four week new high, new low ratio. I plot the T2122 on just a simple line chart. And as you can see, we went from the bearish reversal zone and in just nine days went clear up here into, excuse me, the bullish reversal zone and spiked clear up here into the bearish reversal zone. And now we're getting that swing back. And, and, and again, w when we move so far so fast, we get these big, ugly, volatile swings here in the market. And if you guys remember, I mentioned when we spiked over here and pulled all the way back and spiked over here and pulled all the way back, I said the last thing we really want to see is the market get carried away and spike again. And that's exactly what we ended up getting. Um, I never get what I want. Can tell you that but we spiked right back up here again and now we're getting that steep pullback so as we approach this area down here this is the bullish reversal zone that oversold area we have plenty of room for upside move here now so if we can just catch some support uh, kind of get our footing in here there is an opportunity so um, I've, I've repeated this several times today and I repeated it in the morning blog, which by the way, you can get, uh, if you look at the description of this video, the link for that blog will be in the description. Um, I've used the term the sky is falling and the reason is it just seems like everywhere you look right now, everyone wants to believe that the sky is falling, but all these charts are not showing us that yet. Could it be? Yes but there's no reason, at least at this moment, to uh, be running for cover and uh, just expecting the worst of the market. So with that, everyone, hey, let's take a look. Um, by the way, on the economic calendar, there's quite a little bit going on on the economic calendar today. Um, markets moving around quite a bit this morning with about 250 companies reporting earnings today. The good news to that is we're just about ready to wind down uh, the major part of this quarter's earnings. That might help some of the volatility drop out of the market here a little bit. But for now, uh, not too much to worry about here at the moment. If we, um, uh, excuse me, with that volatility, we, we definitely want to uh, pay attention to that, but not get too overly worried about it. Also on the economic calendar, there's quite a few things on the economic calendar today. Not a lot that would really be expected to move the market a bunch, but we want to also pay attention to that. So let's take a look. There's a a few charts here that I wanted to draw your attention to that I really like and I think are in pretty good condition still. This TRI, beautiful pop up here, breaking through resistance. You can see a nice little tight consolidation going on here. Watch and wait for an entry into this, but TRI is looking pretty good and certainly should be on your list. I also really think a defensive play here, if you're worried about the market looking for a little bit of protection, you might want to take a look at SO. SO, a nice utility, a nice dividend payer, uh, broke through resistance, holding here a nice, a nice little uh, support area and buyers stepping in trying to push this higher. So maybe keep an eye on a stock like SO looking uh, pretty darn good. Um, a stock like a WMT. WMT is a co uh, consumer defensive type stock. And here's one of those stocks that moved up really, really sharply, hit a price resistance level, and is pulling back. That's exactly what we normally see in the market. So this is going to report earnings on the 15th. I wouldn't jump into this because uh, earnings coming up so soon, but it certainly uh, gives us reason to be watching this, waiting for that earnings report to occur, and waiting for an entry into this trade. So far, trend is good, holding well. It's respecting everything, and notice that the sell-off here has not been extreme in Walmart. So just a few ideas for you to consider. Um, as you move through the day. Everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day of trading. I want to wish you all great profits. And I want to let everyone know that tomorrow, unfortunately, there will not be a morning blog or a morning video. I will be um, at the airport really early in the morning and won't have the opportunity to put that together. So forgive me for not being able to get one out tomorrow, but I want to wish you all a great 
great day of trading today and a great day tomorrow. And we'll talk to you all bright and early Friday morning. Take care, everyone, and I will talk to you all very soon. Thank you.